Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On my last video, I talked about the brushstroke build. I'll put that link somewhere up here. But today I wanted to talk about another build I've done. So what I have here is an Axial SEX 10.2. This started out as the original Cherokee kit version, uh, but it's since gone through quite a few changes. Now this build had a couple of goals. One being that I wanted it to be a replica of a truck I used to have, and I wanted it to be a tow rig. So the truck I used to have was a 1995 Ford F-250 Power Stroke. So to make that goal, I picked up a J-Concepts Ford F-250 body. It is actually, I think it's modeled after 95 also. Same front end, tail end, everything. And then I painted it in this Duratrax metallic green. This color was really close to what I had on that truck. And this paint went on smooth and it's been working uh, very well, it hasn't chipped, uh, nothing. It's, it's, I actually did this a couple of years ago, and it's, so it's got some wear on it, but it's held up really well. So I do recommend that Duratrax paint. Uh, to kind of finish out what the, that truck looked like, a member at rccrawler.com actually 3D printed this headache rack for me. It's pretty close to the one I had on my actual truck, and he did a great job on that, and I really appreciated uh, what he did for me there. And just for a look scale accessory, I added this little toolbox in here also. On the front end, I'm running the original Cherokee winch bumper, uh, but I've added the RC four-wheel drive Warren winch, the RC four-wheel drive Baja Design Squadron lights, and a couple of Yav Racing uh, shackles there. For wheels and tires, I've got the SSD Assassin wheels and also their scale hubs. And then these are the original kit tires. And I like these because these are actually a little bit smaller than the, the 4.75s you usually see. These are like a 4.6, 4.65s, whatever. They're just a hair shorter. But the wheel wells on this body are a little bit smaller. So this tire works out, works out a lot better. In the back, uh, I've got a tow hitch back there. I'll show that when I take that off the body. And then for a trailer, I'm running this extra speed, uh, this is their car trailer. Uh, I actually picked this up off of a main, uh, part of their scratch and dent. I uh, got pretty lucky. It was just, it was just an open box. Everything was still there, still in the bags. I saved a few bucks on it, so that was nice. Now, if I take the body off here, I'll show you what I'm running. So for electronics, I'm running the, I've got one of these servos off Amazon. It's a 35 kg Metal Gear waterproof servo. These actually work out really well. They're a great price. Uh, not necessarily the fastest servo ever, but I'm not racing this rig. It seems strong enough for the, my purposes. So I do recommend those servos. And then I'm running the RC four-wheel drive uh, winch controller. This is the one that goes into the receiver. And then I'm running a DX4C radio. And I wired the winch control into one of these buttons here. I just put a, an I and an O. It's actually an old ProLine sticker I just cut up. Uh, just so it reminds me of which way is in and out. And for speed control, run the Castle Creations Mamba X paired with the Holmes Hobby Torque Master Sport 45 turn 550 can motor. Now this combo here works really great for towing this trailer. I can throw a lot of weight on this trailer and this combo, uh, it doesn't even get warm. I've towed it all around my neighborhood and it, it works re really well. And then for a battery, I'm just running a Duratrax 3S, uh, I think it's a 4,000 milliamp battery. Been actually impressed with this Duratrax battery as well. I've been running it, I've had it five, six plus years. It still balances, still, still going strong, no swelling, nothing. That's been a good battery. Uh, shocks, I'm running the SSD, uh, just their scale shocks. They are, they're an upgrade over the stock shocks for sure. Um, I still have some issues with getting mine filled with shock oil and, and they do leak a little bit. So uh, for the price, they're a great shock, but I think, I think SSD still needs to work on these just a little bit more to make them, make them perfect. Um, but if you're looking for shocks, I think they're still Still a good buy. Um, now, let me pull the trailer off here. So overall, this has been a pretty good truck. Uh, the only th issues I've really run into is, um, 
I had a problem with the axial soft uh, rod, plastic rod ends. They, they end up putting a lot of side to side play into the into the link and suspensions. So I'm working on replacing that. And this one, let's see if I can just put it. It's got a lot of play. These these rod ends are just they're just not holding up very well. So one thing I it was recommended to me, and I'm definitely going to recommend to everybody else, is pick up a set of these. These are the Traxxas rod ends, the 5347. Got those just in my local hobby shop. They're made out of a little bit better plastic, and they come with a stainless steel ball. So here it is, kind of compared to the original axial rod end. And you can see the only issue though I have with these is that they are just a hair shorter than the original axial rod end. So you'll have to come up with a way to make up the difference. Uh, what I have found that works really well is I got these at my local Ace Hardware. These are just a little fiber washer. Uh, they're they're pretty thin, uh, but they seem to be just enough to kind of make up that difference in these to, to make them the same length. Now, I made a rookie mistake when I mounted this body because um, this Chase Concepts battery is not a perfect fit for the chassis. It's not 13 or what. 313 millimeter. It seems to be a hair longer, 315, 319, something like that. So I, I had to do a little bit of uh, work with the links. I actually ended up having to extend the front axle out just a little bit. So here, I used a four millimeter nut on both both ends to make up the difference for the shorter rods, but it also moved the whole axle forward a little bit to kind of help center the tire and the wheel a little bit better. I might still need to add another washer somewhere in here to push it out just a hair more to make it a, a perfect fit but i'm still experimenting with that i still need to do the rears that'll be doing a little bit later today but outside of that this truck has been been really well i'm still running stock drive shafts uh everything in the axles of stock this has been a, a good kit now back here this is the rc four-wheel drive a frame extension meant for the Cherokee kit. Uh, this would replace the, the JCR bumper. You can't use that bumper with this extension. It'll put the bumper way too far out. But it does still use the original, I think, T the TRX4 and the axle use the, the post style bumpers. And so those they still work in here. But the, part of the reason I picked this is besides the J Concepts body being pretty long, is it does have a tow hitch mount. Uh, in the bottom of it as well and so that was part of my goal with this being a tow rig the, one of the downsides though was that the original uh, axial tow hitch doesn't quite fit in here i actually have it kind of jammed in here temporarily right now but the rc four wheel drive hitches are just a few millimeters thinner than the original axial uh pieces i apologize for the blurriness there uh so i i'm gonna have a rc four wheel drive hitch on order here pretty soon just haven't gotten to it just yet but for right now this setup works fine because i can slip my trailer onto the screw here and i just put a nut on top and that keeps it all attached so overall this has been a pretty great truck i've got a few more things that i want to do to it but it has just been a, a overall a pretty good truck and i'm, I'm happy with it uh, i think i'm gonna keep working on the scale details a little bit more uh, but it's it's just been a it's been a good truck. Um, now this trailer, these are pretty. This has been a, a pretty good trailer too. Just just a fair warning: when you put one of these together, make sure you got your Loctite handy. Uh, the screws like to come loose uh, in the suspension on this one. But I can throw my son's Texas Bandit on here. And you see just kind of how wide this thing is. We can tow this trailer all around the neighborhood, and he, he gets a kick out of it. And we used it to go get the mail the other day. You know, you kind of just. Do whatever you want with it. It works great. Um, and this truck has no problem towing basically anything I put on here. Uh, even the, the, the brush truck is probably the, one of the heaviest trucks I have right now. And it doesn't even have electronics in it yet. Uh, so this truck could definitely handle the weight. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is just a little introduction to, to this kit. I'll, I'll probably do a few more videos on it as I change things out but i wanted to kind of do just a little introductory on it uh, so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time